Good morning, race fans. Uh, right, here we go. I haven't had enough coffee this morning, so you will have to bear with me. But this is uh, just under a week from when I posted my, or no, when I recorded my last video. And that's not great, is it? Retry connection area with the server. Now, I've had all manner of Wi-Fi e type issues this morning. So, stick close to me, so I'll switch into guns. to turn that off and use some... There we go, guys. So that's my CF video account with about £3 in. And yeah, so it's just under a week since I made my very first video. I am the haphazard investor. Uh, more luck than judgment and probably how not to earn money investing. However, okay, after I've made my first video, which if you want to uh, check it out, have a look on my playlist, I believe, sort of my trading, haphazard invest, whatever. It's there somewhere. In fact, I haven't even done it yet, so I'll put it in there. But the video's there, and it's been online. I put it online yesterday, so it's had about three views. Um, and yeah, so this is part two. Now, this is my... So this is my account. If you've not seen my videos before, I am a haphazard investor. I don't take any advice. I don't do any, I do take advice actually. Uh, I don't do any research. I let other people do that. And I follow really daft tips on places like TikTok, for instance, and then put some money in and see where it gets me. So check out my first video. This is part two. This is my investing account. It looks better than it did last week. Um, two ways because I put a little bit more money into it and actually um, it's gone up. Look at that. It did go down. Uh, there was, and I do keep half an eye on the markets. I don't spend too much time doing it because my, I'm all over the place doing loads of different things, um, apart from getting my hair cut and my beard trimmed because it's desperately overdue. Um, so basically, I just take tips and put some money on it and see where it gets me. The market, after I did the last video last Thursday, I think it was, it took a dip everywhere and so did my shares market value. You see the little spike there actually. Um, you know, it was kind of, did the video and then done. My portfolio lost loads of money. Um, what was it? There we are, what, Tuesday? No, so it would have been Monday. I don't even know. That's when I added more funds in. See, yeah, like I said, don't follow what I do because I'm useless. Where are we, Friday the 12th of June? Okay, so. I did the video around about here and it was looking great. And then it's like Murphy's Law, Sod's Law, bang, market crashed. And I ended up like losing half my portfolio. That's how easy it's done. Um, yeah, my return was uh, from £35 up to £16, £15 pounds down. Um, so there you go. I thought, that's typical. I placed a video. Now I really am going to look stupid. Uh, but over the weekend, um, it rose back up again and. I actually put some more money in. I invested some more money in there. But as you can see, the portfolio has actually grown as well since then. So there we go. How not to or how to do it. Uh, but don't take my advice. However, this great platform, I thought I'd just say, because I am on my phone, that's why I'm looking down. I'm recording the screen. Um, basically, uh, I use Trading212 and it's a wicked app and I'm not sponsored in any way and I haven't really used any others, but I've used this and it's great. Um, so uh, I'm not saying use it, I'm not recommending it, but if you want to have a dabble, um, please only use, uh, only, only invest what you can afford to lose. Um, and uh, probably don't listen to me, then please use the link in the description below because if you go through that link and sign up for an account, I get a free share and you get a free share up to the value of about £100. But like I said, this video isn't sponsored by them. It's just a referral code. You don't have to do it. So as you can see, last week we left. We were left with a portfolio that looks pretty similar to this, um, but there's an addition at the bottom of Visa. Now, again, I follow really stupid tips and links and, and kind of advice from places like TikTok and YouTube. Maybe that's not so silly, but uh, I just listen and go, yeah, that sounds great. That makes sense. Bang, put a little bit more in. Um, okay, and so my thinking behind that was I followed a tip on YouTube. Uh, from a YouTuber that they're buying into Visa. Now, I, again, haphazard investor style, I kind of listened to his explanation as to why they're going to do quite well. Um, you know, kind of looking at how they've been, they're not the highest, but they're not the lowest. So I'm not buying in super high, but I'm not buying in super low. But if anybody's going to do well out of all of this lockdown stuff, it is the credit cards. And obviously Visa is one of the largest. So I earned a little bit of money from um, you, uh, some eBay and some of my stuff. So I decided to put a little bit more in, like 50 quid in. So I um, I put, I bought 23 pounds worth of Visa shares. 
They're up 71p by about 3%. Not going to make me rich, but it's not too bad. It's gone up 3%. There we go. Now, going back to my original portfolio, Amazon is just kind of ticking along. That's, again, it doesn't do much, but I kind of leave it in there. And it's returning me about 36p. Aston Martin. Now, I was on the fence on what to do here because if I look at the last month, I kind of bought in and it, it went right up to kind of around about 84 there. Then it dropped down again and now it's slowly picking up, but it is kind of bumbling along. Monday, it kind of rocketed up Tuesday. It's sort of like the markets could took a dip last Thursday, Friday, um, and then picked up again. And that's the sort of thing you've got to kind of ride out. And this is the sort of money that, to be honest, um, it, it haphazard and uh, investor style, I'm not worried about losing. So if it goes down, you only make a loss if you sell when it's down. Otherwise, it's just sat there. So if I am at a loss, I'll just leave it in there and see what happens. Um, so, yeah, Aston Martin's kind of picking up. But I, I, I've made a bit off of that stock and... I don't know if I, I bought into it. If you check out my last video, I bought into Aston Martin because of their links in Formula One and what's moving and shaking in F1. And obviously, race fans, my history is in Formula One after 12 years of working in motorsport with uh, various teams and, and six years with Red Bull F1. So I kind of watched what's happening there and thought, I'll ride this to see what happens. Um, and I don't know if it's actually going to do a great deal in the next sort of... Um, next few months uh, i think it's going to bumble along i haven't heard any news of any sort of earnings or anything like that so what i might do is just uh, you might see that next time next video round maybe next week is i might bail out of that it's up 16 percent. six pounds is not a bad return for you know investing sort of about 40 38 quid in there so it's not a bad return i might free that up to put onto something else astrazeneca now i thought this would be a great mover i bought into it Again, check out the last video. Um, I won't bore you, but I bought into it because this is one of the, the UK's largest pharmaceutical companies. Approached a big American uh, pharmaceutical company about buying them out or merging to become one of the world's largest. So I thought, actually, I think that's going to be a mover. Bought into it. Eh, a couple of percent. No, eh, not bad, not bad. But I, read, I, I heard, read yesterday, that AstraZeneca, blah, 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 these guys, um, I heard yesterday that... I think it was on Apple News again. I, you know, real deep, deep dive into what's going on. Um, I heard that Germany, Italy, and France all basically chipped in to buy. Oh, that was, they're all dying to get this coronavirus. Um, oh, what's it called? What's it called? Um, it's not the um, mm, mm, Jesus injection. <laughs> Um, oh man, I need some more coffee. Um, they're all, and the UK, are all vying to place their bets and buy the coronavirus injecty stuff to prevent you from getting it. It's not a cure. Um, oh God, look, drop a comment, please. Help me out here. Um, but yeah, basically, so they have all put in like $630 million dollars something a lot of money into uh they've paid them 600 plus uh, sort of million somethings which is a lot of anything um to reserve their slot when these guys actually finish because um the um the vaccine 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 uh, to buy the vaccine from these guys astrazeneca because these guys have been developing it so have lots of other companies around the world but these guys are in phase two of testing so they are closer than anyone to actually getting on the market so Italy, France, Germany, I think, have all put in $660 million worth of pre-orders for when they do make it to market for their stuffs. So I'm thinking that's going to do really well. So based on what I bought into it and what might happen, I'm definitely going to stay into these guys because um, UK want it as well. And it's a bit bizarre because it's a UK company, but I don't understand politics and all that. Um, and I think because we're not part of the Brexit or the, we are part of Brexit, but not part of the EU anymore, um, we're not part of that conglomerate. But I would have thought we could buy it anyway. Anyway, so I think their stock's going to go hugely up because um, just because if they are first to market with a coronavirus vaccine, then they're going to be win-win. So I'm going to stick into those guys. And it's kind of dabbling around a couple of percent. So let's watch to see what happens with that. Carnival Cruise Lines. I put more money into these guys. A, because when I first put money in, because of the last video, um, go and watch it if you want to explain why I bought into Carnival. They went right up and then they dropped right down again. And I believe they're going to go right up again. So while they drop down, I put a little bit more money in to them.
Um, and I've got a return so far of, as you can see, 40%, which is £31 for putting in somewhere in the region of... <laughs> well, actually, if you look at that, I think the first bit of money that I put in... Come on, Neil. Wakey, wakey. Yes, yeah, so, uh, that's what it would tell me somewhere. Of what I put in. I'll have to go back on the old graph then. Okay, so initially I put in £38, and then it grew quite considerably, and I put, I dropped another kind of, I think I put another 25 or so pounds in it the other day, because it went up, and then it went down halfway, and I think it's gonna go right back up again, because it's got a long way to go. If you look at where they were up here, um, you know, trading at sort of $50 a share and coronavirus hit and they dropped right down to a, you know, if, if, yeah, whatever, $10 a share, whatever. Uh, and then I bought in and they kind of spiked. So they went up about 20, a hundred percent. Well, I bought in and they dropped back down to, um, I think about 30, 40%, still quite a gain. And I think it's going to up and go up again. My return on those is £31.85 and that's not bad. I'm a sticker for those. Right, Editas, check out video one of why I bought into Editas, but you can see exactly what's happened based on my dodgy sort of watching. Now, I haven't heard any more about these guys, and I didn't think I'd see a return quite so fast with these because I bought into these medium term, knowing what they're developing. They're developing um, a cure for inherent blindness, no connections bar apart from a tip I got into those. And you see, it's up 16%. I didn't put much money into these. Um, 25 pounds and i'm at four pounds 10p and uh yeah so i'm pretty pleased with that i bought 1.2 shares yeah there we go and as i mentioned before visa i bought into those guys um and they're just kind of rocking and rolling at about three percent so all in all my portfolio i've invested 214 pounds like i said i've recently just a couple of days ago put a little bit more in um but it's up 20 percent at 44 pounds that's better than you'll get in any savings account that i know of um so yeah there's the haphazard investments, uh, investors portfolio um, for this week. Now, again, uh, not a lot happening apart from the visa and, and things. Look, they're all green, so that's uh, that's a bonus. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. But like I say, I might start looking at, at probably cashing on the Aston Martin share. It may go up. I think you've got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. And I think my time is up in those shares, so I might just cash in on those and look to see where I can... Uh, get some more tips to put something else in so you might see a change in the next week i'll put a video out next week and hope you guys enjoy don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video if you didn't give it a thumbs down uh, let me know what you didn't enjoy about it um but it's your choice to watch so i am neil the haphazard investor more luck than judgment thanks for watching and i'll catch you next week take it easy oh by the way if you want to use trading 212 check out the link below we both get a free stock if you open an account in it may be worth some money, may not. I'm not sponsored in any way by them, but it's just a little referral. Thanks very much.